The Lamar Ultimate is just over 24 hours old when it comes to its early access to release, and we have our very first hotfix. So today I'm going to be taking you through all the changes that you need to know from that patch that you may have already downloaded. So, what they have done is they have addressed the intermittent crash when driving over Rumble Strip. They've enabled the classic multi-view tool, and this can be triggered by pressing Control, Shift, and Equals to configure multiple monitors. They've improved a crash for some users when entering multiplayer session after a race weekend session. They've fixed an issue where the overlay initializes too early and causes hang at startup. They've also fixed an issue where the UI has input lag when in focus for some users. They've added protection for invalid characters in controller files, causing errors reading the file. Specifically for the Thrustmaster TX Racing Wheel, they've enabled constant steering force. For the Fanatec CSL Elite, they've fixed incorrect torque capability. And they've also updated the gamepad and keyboard default profiles. Now, for those last two changes, the gamepad and the Fanatec CSL Elite, just a bit of a note, if you have modified your controller settings, you will need to delete your current controls.json and your direct imports.json. And that can be found in Le Mans Ultimate user data and player folder. They fixed an incorrect force feedback orientation on sim steering, simicube, sim experience, and VRS direct force wheelbases. For the Fanatec CSL DD, they fixed incorrect steering sensitivity and look left right assignments. They've also reduced default head physics to 10% for first time users and they've made some adjustments to default settings. So they've set the default post effects to low for improved FPS performance in game and menus. And they've also set the default rear view mirror setting to enable virtual mirror by default. They've also set the default time scale to 1.0 and they've prevented online special events being updated with daily race registrations. And finally they fixed being able to register with the wrong rank for online. That's it, that's all in that hot fix that you have probably downloaded by now and is approximately 800 megabytes in size. And that's gonna do it for today's video. As a reminder, if you want to report some bugs that you can access the forum, I'll put a link in the description. There's also the Le Mans Ultimate Discord. I'll also put that link in the description as well if you wanna report something or ask something about a query. And I'd like to know, in the comments below what your experience in Le Mans Ultimate is so far. Is it good? Is it bad? I've not been personally having too many issues in comparison to other people, which is a shame, but I'm enjoying it. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this one, make sure you're subscribed. I'll be continuing doing updates like this one on Le Mans Ultimate, updates, hot fixes, patch notes, all those sorts of things on the channel. I also cover some other racing and simulation based games on the channel as well. So if that interests you, stick around and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.